and you've kept the tails <laughs> on. This is a sign of a good one. If you're not getting this, you're not doing <laughs> we it We are right. getting it. Hi guys and welcome. Today we are doing quick dinners. I'm Marion and this and is... And I am Sylvia. <laughs> and we are going to be doing 20 minute dinners. So today I'm doing this super spicy, super fragrant Thai stir fry with prawns. It's pad kribao gong. And I'll be making spaghetti vongole, an Italian classic. I'm going to make this big flavor paste, super easy. Um, I want some garlic. And then let's talk about chilies. So yes, I see that there's quite an outlandish <laughs> amount of chilies. Now, this is your basic supermarket long red chili you can get. It's like a capsicum. It's not so. Oh, could, could I do that, that or it's, really? It's, it's just like a capsicum. Oh, yeah, it's true. This you can use for color. And I like things super spicy, so I'm going to go. Mm. In Thai, we call these prick da. But in Australia or, you know, overseas, bird's eye chilies, you know, whatever spicy chili you have in your these are hot. area. Yeah, I'm going to go in there with six of these. That's And you don't chop them first, you just pop them in I'm there and just them bang them with the. Straight in here. And do you know what that does? So the reason why this is a better option, this actually will release some of the oils and the flavors in oh. there rather than just chopping. <laughs> it splatters a bit. <laughs> it splatters. <laughs> you want to keep your eyes closed because <laughs> bird's eye chili well, see, gets have, in your eyes. I you have see, natural goggles. You've got goggles, Huge. I don't. <laughs> Okay, so really, I just kind of want... To... Oh, so it's really rough. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, guys. So this super rough, just bruised chili garlic business. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Look, while you do that, I'm actually going to steal some of your bird's eye chilies. Beautiful. So just don't mind me. I'll just be chopping and keep on going <laughs> with Marion. Okay, so I'm ready to get going in this pan. Now, can I say, I'll just warn you, there does need to be a little maybe window opening. Make sure you're not breathing in a whole lot here because this is, is going to get... the fumes? from the chili this is or gonna get hectic. <laughs> and actually I've forgotten my basil I'm just, wait hey mom can you get the basil out of the fridge thanks mom so this is basil this is what's called by Grabao. can I try it well, it has like a mm. And um, it's herbal. It's very herbal. And we actually call it hot basil because now you should get a little bit of spice. Okay, so some wok business here. We want the wok super hot. We want a little bit of that smoke there. Okay, so in we go with our chili and garlic. Oh, the fragrance. Oh, uh, love. This is the moment. So now we're going okay. in with the sauces and we what just want that? oyster sauce and then some fish sauce. And always, you just need a little touch of sugar to balance oh, out. Oh, I thought that was salt. The no, sugar. No, it's sugar. And that will bring out the sweetness in the prawns. Oh, okay. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you want a good, decent whack of this, of this basil. It's looking amazing. Yeah. So I'm done. <laughs> So let's get Yay. on to the spaghetti. Okay, well then we've got the water has reached a rolling boil. We've added the salt. So we're just gonna drop in the pasta and I'm using spaghettini, which is slightly smaller than spaghetti, which means that they take even less to cook. Maybe. Give it a quick stir so that they don't stick together. We've got the pasta in the pot mm -hmm. for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. And all that's left to do now is just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to a hot pan. And to that, we're going to add some chilies, okay. some garlic, a little bit of the parsley stalks that otherwise would be just discarded and put in the bin and they're just going to give the most beautiful parsley flavor. Isn't that just beautiful shake that the pan. Just, the start of your Italian dish and my Thai it's dish. It's the same. Exactly the same. And now this is when it differs. I'm oh. going to add some dry white wine to deglaze the pan and also <gasps> this will smell amazing. Oh. Now we give the pasta a little check. Looking really nice and got a couple of minutes to mm -hmm. go. This is um, evaporating. The alcohol will release basically all this mellow aroma. And that's when we add the vongole. We'll just drop them in, pop the lid on. Hello again. <laughs> and, uh, so see how the vongole are opening up now mm -hmm. and they are releasing oh, the beautiful juicy. vongole nectar. <laughs> At this point, we're going to add some chopped cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We're just going to wait the shells to open. Okay, let's give the pasta a stir because you don't want it to stick. And <laughs> I'm still coughing from the fumes <laughs> of the prawns. 
see how the shells are opening now. Yeah. Now you don't want to overcook your vongole okay. because they go rubbery. Yeah. So what I like to do is I scoop them out as soon as they open. Yeah. I'm using a strainer and a bowl because they will release juices and the juices will be collected here. That's the essence ah. of clams or vongole and that's what you, you want, want to taste that. in your pasta. So while the, the steam is doing its job, I'm just gonna chop up very roughly some parsley leaves to sprinkle on top at the end. All right, let's check on the vongole because I can hear them They're opening. They're doing their little dance in there, dancing, they? like, yeah, like castanets. I'm just gonna scoop the last one out. And at this point, mm. we're gonna add this bit as well. Yeah. Pop the pasta straight in the pot, along with the cooking water, which is now full of starch. Mm -hmm. And that will thicken and bind the sauce without you having to add any fats, oils, butters, or God forbid, cream. Oh, you wouldn't put cream in this? Ah, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. Now, the pasta. I'm it's gonna... already soaked up a lot of this. Yeah, pretty sauce. much. Now try it. It's pretty much cooked. It's quite al dente. It's already got a lovely, all those juices on the yeah. outside. Actually, what I'm going to add Ooh, is, is the clam juice. The clam juices and a little bit of the pasta water. And I'm just going to stir, but I'm going to pop the vongole back in. The pasta is cooked. You have to serve it and you have to eat it. Pasta can't wait. So I'm just going to reheat these a little. That oh my is a little plate of heaven right there. I'm so excited. Let me see, let me see. Ooh, this you is the See how room. luscious yeah. the sauce is? A sprinkle of parsley. So I'm just going to put these prawns out. Oh, look at that. All those chunks. It smells incredible. Wow, I think we should start with the pasta though because it's less spicy. Well, let's do that. Has your rolling action, spaghetti mm. rolling action. I don't know about the rolling action, <laughs> but the eating action. That pasta, the actual spaghetti strands have so much flavor. That's and I the can't trick. Believe how creamy. All right, now Come get on. into here. Go in with a fork, get yourself um, some of the basil okay. and the prawn. Oh my goodness. How is that? I was expecting a lot more heat. Mm. It's actually a lot, It's look, it's not mild by any stretch of the imagination, but I can go in for another one. Well, <laughs> this is it for today. You've got two easy, very delicious dishes, prawns and spaghetti. What could be better? <laughs> nothing, nothing could be better.